Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Alien Isolation Part 11, but unfortunately we spent all our money on lottery tickets. I am FDA. <laughs> ah, and smoothies. And uh, we haven't yet trapped the alien. No way. Oh, wait. I wasn't paying attention last part. Damn. No, see, we didn't trap the alien. The alien's still on the loose. I think we were, like, trying to trap the alien, and then... Ship blew up. No, no, no. It was like we weren't able to escape the room because we shut off all the access. It's like we trapped the alien at first, but we were also trapped inside. So this dude was like, I'll get you out. And he opens it, which lets the alien out, too. So then it's like, oh... Fucking dumbass. So now we're going on to trap number three, which involves us going all the way to a medical wing. Gemini, it's the Gemini killer. Man, this is not. This is. I don't think this place is medically safe. This this part in 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 nightmare mode is kind of nerve wracking because um, there is there are certain. There's certain scripted moments where the alien will come out every single time, and um, one of them is around here. <laughs> it, it, it jumps out that that little. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Game over. <laughs> also, if that camera sees you in nightmare mode, the alien will come out. It's like, what is the alien listening for the camera? <laughs> the alien's currently in the security deck. There he is. Oh. oh shit, fam. Oh shit, fam. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it like it came out and went back in. Nope, no one's here. Uh Yeah. So there's a little um there's a little torch next to the dead guy to our left, but I when I recorded this I don't think I nope, no, I didn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> Robots That's... like oh that kind of hurt my feelings. <laughs> Yeah, it is like I don't have time to talk about this, Jeff. I'll see you at home. <laughs> but honey, I love you. Oh yeah, I fast forwarded. That's good. Yeah, because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Again, it's a it it's really annoying actually that the alien <laughs> that the alien doesn't kill the androids. It it really ruins the uh, immersion. I think. I don't, I don't know if it ruins the immersion. Well, it only does if you pay attention to the set pieces in the game. Like, if you notice that there are some robots that are ripped in half, and you know that only the alien could do that, then yeah, it ruins the immersion. But I mean... Well, well it, it, it ruins the immersion if you know anything about the... If you've ever seen an alien movie. Because the aliens, again, they will fucking murder anything that they see. That's true, they do kill the robots in the film. Uh, I, I, wonder, I wonder if you could use that as... I wonder, like, that little blowtorch thing would probably be a, an effective weapon against the alien. I guess if it's like shoving its face into your face, you could. I wasn't sure. In. I wasn't sure if that robot was gonna attack me or not. Fun fact: this robot will not attack you unless it sees you using the computer. Oh, really? Yeah, it won't mess with you at all unless it sees you messing with the computer. Which is get off my porno. It took me a while to like to find that out because. I was walking around in the room, and the alien, and, and the, the robot was like, "Yeah, whatever, don't give a shit, fucking human." And then I went on the computer, and then it started to attack me. So you know, I put two and two together. What's funny is if a if a robot wants to kill you, if you hide under a desk, it'll just kick you until you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it takes like ten kicks to kill you. <laughs> it's a slow and painful death. <laughs> The robot just comes in, I'm a computer. Quit all the downloading. Quit <laughs> all the downloading. Quit all the downloading. Yeah, that's right. I said I had him. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Uh, Alien. <laughs> we already made that joke. You know some people, they, they think they're fine. Then uh, that's they the, wake up with it. We, uh, there's a fucking there's a fucking chest burst in him. Alien. That's the joke we made. Is it? Oh, sort of. I don't remember. Did I ever fucking watch the self piece? <laughs> piece terrible. I don't watch it back. I watched it. Uh, I watched it last week to make sure that we didn't repeat any jokes. And good job, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
That's what we do anyway. Yeah, that's literally all we do. Uh, I'm not just sticking to the FTCR formula. <laughs> uh, what are some good FTCR jokes? Chicken hoppage, chair buddy. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, that's fair. <laughs> it's just it's literally just stuff we've stolen from other places and reappropriated for ourselves. So we have less than 20 minutes. No, we have more than 20 minutes left in this LP. Let's just do chicken hoppage, chair buddy. That's fair. That's fair. The next FTCR shirt I make has to have that. That's fair on there. That's. Are we? Are we gonna? Are we gonna make new shirts for uh, too many games? If you want, I can. I can make one for everybody that's going, as long as I can know who's going. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, for the for the panel, maybe doing some special shirts for that. But have we? Have we? Have we already announced that we're going to too many games? Last last year we said we'd be back again. So yeah, we're gonna we're going this year. We haven't announced what we're doing there yet, but yeah, we're going. Okay. We're doing okay. I'm I'm gonna repeat it here. We're gonna do a panel by Alien Isolation. <laughs> that no one will turn up to. <laughs> How many people turned up to uh, SA One versus Two? Like fifty. How big was the room? Not very. They they turn away like twenty people. Oh, good. Yeah. I, I've been told by people who work there that um, uh, they took notice of that. So should we go? Because did they put us in, they have like three different sized rooms. Yeah. They had us in the, in the smallest one. I've been told, should we go back next year and do a similar type panel where we put in a bigger room? Okay. And then watch, watch us get a really big room this year and no one comes. We'll do Omega versus uh, uh, Gamma panel <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make sure the ellipses is in the title omega versus gamma just... ellipses panel <laughs> no i think it's it's omega versus the dot 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 gamma the dot 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 panel question mark <laughs> <laughs> and in parentheses fuck you <laughs> <laughs> fuck you give us money sit tight Sit tight. Huh? The, the, the screen the screen says sit tight. Oh. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Uncle computer screen. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I fucking hate how many upgrades I, I need to, to access everything. Mm, it always it always annoys me in stuff like in games like this when like there's Shit, like you have to get behind the door, but the doors are just like glass. But you have like giant bolt cutters where in real life you could just smash the fucking glass. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know, like it's a game you can't do that, but sometimes it just. I hate when there's like a chain linked fence and it's like, oh, I can't climb that. Yes, you can. The worst, the worst fucking thing is in the, um, there's the, in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Blades PS2 game, there's a level sit in the town and you go into the cinema and there's literally like a tiny kind of like turn, like turn, like ticket turn um, uh, style. Buffy's regular jump can jump like twice as high as how tall the thing is. <laughs> but, but unless you find a, a like cinema ticket, you can't get through it. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, I, can, I can fucking jump over this shit, bastards. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Fuck you! Don't tell me how sorry I am. I'm sorry, Uncle's movies. <laughs> and whenever you introduce me to Benji, can you please tell him my name is Smoothies? <laughs> Never let that boy call me Steven. <laughs> oh no, Steven! You got caught by a the robot. <laughs> Some monsters will bark. <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't know. The second I thought you were doing an impression of Benji, go, oh no, Steven, you got kidnapped by the monster <laughs> robot thing. Fuck you, Smoothies, you're not my real dad. <laughs> I never says I, I never says I was, Benji. <laughs> <laughs> I never says I was. <laughs> <laughs> I broke grill. I'm sorry. I broke grammar. I'm sorry. I'm gonna raise my son to speak like that. You could technically. I late school. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, release B-04 bastards. Let the man out. Something I, I was thinking, do you think, I, I'm not sure if we talked about it in one of the previous parts, but what do you think of the length of this game? Oh, this is actually a thing that most people complain about. Um, too long or too short? Too long. Um, too long? Too much filler. Yeah. 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 Which I, I also for, agree it's a little too long. For 18, 18 missions, I think it's like mission, is it mission three or four before you even see the alien? Let's see, the first one you don't. The second one you do, but only in a cutscene. The third one you do if you make enough noise. Oh, so he did. For some reason, I kept, I kept on thinking he doesn't appear. He doesn't appear and kill that guy until the end of the third mission. No, kills the. If I remember correctly. I, I don't know. Us reminiscing over this is just going to ruin it for people who are watching and have already seen it and like, what, I, yeah. I, I saw it. I, I, I don't care, you guys. Shut up. But yeah, either way, I, I think, I think as we said last time, that kind of flashback mission, kind of a waste of time. That could be, you know? yeah. I can't see it. I can't see it easily. What also bothers me about this game is that the pacing is not good. It doesn't have a good blend of of intense moments and moments to, to to feel safe, basically. Yeah. Um, it does a bad job at that. So, um, it, what it does is um, it puts it puts a lot of hard moments next to each other, and then a lot of easy moments next to each other. So it's like, mm. I don't know, space them out, space them out. Which again, it's also weird because in that in that flashback mission, there's nothing. You basically just walk in a straight line. I th and I think that's after a bunch of really hard missions. So it's like yeah. again, it's like the the uh, the the planning of the missions could have been better thought out. Yeah. Also, I feel like there. You know, when horror films will uh, will 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 do really cheap shots at horror, like jump scares and shit like that. Yeah. This game does some cheap shots in terms of horror games. Like, um, it makes you turn around kind of slowly. Uh, so it kind of makes you feel like you're not in control. And it also, it makes this entire place a labyrinth. So, like, you never really know where you're going. Mm. So it's like, eh, I don't know. You're, you're kind of make you're kind of making me feel scared by a formula instead of I don't know it just it doesn't feel right I, I, I do wish the ship was smaller yeah I think there, there is an awful lot of, of backtracking in certain missions which is like I don't want to do this again fix this shit by the way yeah when when you when you look at an, an area to, to climb into it the game has to prompt you to press X before you can press X to get in <sighs> yeah and sometimes it doesn't register it's really annoying Especially when you're on like the last, like I know how to work this. Just fucking do it for me, please. But what this game gets right is the atmosphere. Oh yeah. I, I think that's I think that's what they built this game around. I think they they nailed that first and then did everything else second. And when they did everything else second, they were like, oh, I don't fucking know video game. I'm doing this second. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, but, you know, overall, I give it a, a fresh score. Yep. It's good. good job, Sega. Skooks. Good job, I'll Sega, by, ha by hiring a third party to make a good game. <laughs> yeah, good job, Sega, by not choosing to make it yourself, because you know that'd be bad. Yeah. How many in-house, uh, people do Sega have? How many teams do they have? S they have Sonic Team. And that's it. <laughs> well, okay, I guess it, it depends because they've 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 acquired they've acquired so many companies now, which I guess you could maybe technically class as first party now. Well, if they've acquired them, then they have to be first party, right? Yeah. Then like um, uh, Atlas is I think is there's now the um, company that make all the like Total War games and shit. Sega over the last few years they've made a lot of good purchases of companies. Um, I'll give them that. They've, they've, you know, they've been uh, pretty business savvy in choosing, uh, you know, uh, acquirements. We'll say that. Hmm. 
<laughs> they hired talented people. Yeah. We can't we can't make this. We're just gonna buy you so we can just take your profits. <laughs> They're not getting as much money from arcades these days. Uh, in Japan, they are. Like the arcades are still their biggest seller in Japan, I think. Yeah, it's weird how how the, how it's really only the Western Hemisphere that buys consoles anymore. It seems. Hmm. Well, not not like I'm not saying only, but I mean that's like where the predominant market is. Which I think, uh, unless I'm mistaken, I think like Xbox sells practically dick in Japan. Oh no, no, Microsoft doesn't sell hardly anything except for like maybe you know, PC. I th I think it's mostly just uh, Nintendo and and Sony. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fair though, <laughs> because <laughs> Xbox is pretty shitty. <laughs> I have I have never owned an I have owned pretty much every other console. I have never had a, a single Xbox console. Neither have I. I just don't care enough. I in, when the first Xbox came out, I fucking hated the, that controller. Yeah. The controller was complete. Tr I will say though, if um, the only real reason I got a PS3 was because it came with a Blu-ray player. I think I have owned every Nintendo console. With the exception of the Virtual Boy, I, I have owned every... every uh... mm, console, not handheld. Virtual Boy is oh, a yeah, handheld, I... isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I will, I, aside from that, I've owned all the consoles except for like add-ons. Like I don't have a new 3DS. I just have like a uh, 3DS and a XL. Yeah, 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 you're thinking of handhelds though. I'm just talking about consoles, yeah. baby. Console, yeah, I, got, I got a NES, Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U... Switch isn't out yet, but I'm gonna wait until the end of the year. I'm gonna wait till uh, Mario Odyssey's out before mm, I get that. Yeah. I'm think I'm thinking again. I, we're just gonna go on a complete tangent here for a few seconds, but I'm thinking of getting. I'm trying to decide whether I want to get Breath of the Wild on Wii U or wait and get it on Switch. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get both. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because and Switch is sold out, so I don't have that option. And like we bought the Wii U for fucking Zelda, man. Nintendo fucked us over. Well, then fuck us over because if you think about it, what they're going to release on the Wii U is as good as it could be on the Wii U. And it just so happens that there's another console that's a little more powerful that can make Zelda look a little better. Well, yeah, but we we both know they 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 clearly decided like a year ago to hold it back. Oh yeah, like, yeah, this yeah, could, yeah. This yeah. could have been out already. Sure. This could have been out already. In terms of timing, sure. Yeah. Um, that, but in terms that's of what annoys me more. But in terms of what the product is going to be, uh, yeah, it's. I'm just I'm worried about the frame rate. I think they've said it. It's at least on Switch. It's, it's a solid. Ooh, it's a solid thirty. Um, was it? This is part eleven. Hang on a second. I'm gonna go look at our upload schedule and see if. If the switch is up by the time we upload this, <laughs> was it eleven? Hold on, wait. Let's see. Uh, Alien. It it will be. Yeah, the but... switch will be up by the time we upload this. Okay. So people who are playing the switch, please comment how good uh, the world plays. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like, apparently, they're talking about a bunch of um. Like port, I wonder if if Sega will try and port this over to Switch at some point. What? Or, or what, think, oh, what think, isolation? Yeah, or, or do you think this is effectively like dead now, forever? Uh, well, mm, no, no, I I do not see this coming to Switch because you know Nintendo's always been like a a family a family console sort of sort of thing, like. Wait, not, no, I, there, no, there, there, no, there are no. M-rated games for it for Nintendo, but not as many. I think though, starting with the Wii U, they tried to um, shed that bit, which is why, like you know, like Bayonetta Two was a was a like, it was you know, funded by Nintendo. Yeah, but you know? no one else was gonna fund it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you know, I, I'm sure if um. If the Wii U had been as powerful as PS3 and Xbox, this this would be on there. Yes. You know? oh, oh, that was, 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 was going to be my next point, yes. Well, so you'll say that Wii U is as powerful as PS3. I wonder why it wasn't ported over. Uh, mm, I don't know. Because, you, you know, you, 
you could have done some kind of cool shit with the um tech the t- the tablet maybe. <sighs> Technically, the Wii U is more powerful than the PS3 when you're using the one screen. If you ever noticed, when a game uses one screen, it it looks way better than when it uses both the tablet and the TV. I I, I hate when the game just runs the game on the ta- on the screen like on the tablet screen. Like I don't need that. It's a waste of power. Yeah, it is. Um, at least ta- let me turn. That would have been nice to have the option to at least turn the Wii U screen off if if it's gonna be doubled on the TV and the Wii- and the mean, gamepad. That's why games like like um, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric run so badly because the the game is being forced to play the uh, to have like two screens at once. I forget. Does does Rise of Lyric just mirror the same image on both screens? Uh, from what I under- yes, unless you're playing two player and then player one is on the gamepad and player two is on the TV. Uh, if it's using what's on the TV to also be displayed on the gamepad. That's actually using less processing power. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Because it's just it's just it's rendering one image and just sending it to two different places. Does that make sense? Yeah, I still don't like it though. <laughs> well I don't like it either, especially like when the- you're playing Mario Kart 8. It's like get distracted. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just like on Mario Kart 8, it's like, oh thanks for for putting the exact same image on the screen as no wait, am I thinking of Mario 3D World? I don't remember. Oh uh, yeah, drugs. What's happening? I'm scared. We're making we're making drugs. Oh yeah. Let's just let's just give the alien some drugs. He'll leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is our third. This is our technically the third attempt to uh, trap the alien. Yeah, and we're gonna do it all inside this room. By the way. When they released a demo for only the press to play Alien, uh, it was in this area that you could play. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. It was inside this medical bay area. That, that's odd to have a, you know, fairly late in the game uh, level to play through. Yeah, but it's also self-contained and it's a small thing, so it might have been easier to, to program. It might have mm. been easier to copy paste it into a smaller segment. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> was was reaction to that good? Yeah, everybody everybody loved it. There was a segment that IGN did where like all their people play it and they saw like who survived and who didn't. It was <laughs> it was actually kind of cool. It was like one of the good things IGN made. One of the only good things they've ever made. <laughs> Shit, fam, something's there. Oh no, he's in the vents. Quick, hide in the vents. <laughs> there's a lot of on a sp- yeah, there's a lot of flamethrower fuel on the space station. <laughs> <laughs> but no flamethrower shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, things will get interesting soon. <laughs> I always love how this kind of... How just kind of dopey this technology looks. Yeah. I mean, I, I love it because it's like... It's retro and it fits in with the, the uh, tech they had in the movie, but it's just mm-hmm. kind of... In this day and age, it's laughable that a... Uh, you know, a fucking space station would have technology that, that looks just bullshit. This is bad. Yeah, plus, you know, it takes so much energy to take something from the planet and put it into space. So to put this much material into space is like really fucking stupid. Mm. So yeah. One thing that I don't like about sci-fi is how unrealistic it 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 sets things. Like it, to put materials into space is really hard to do. Like the the space station, which is really small, like the the international space station, the real one, uh, is really small compared to all of this because you know that's really hard to get all that material up there. That's hard. That's fair. <laughs> Maybe uh, Stephen, I, I like what you're doing now. You're kind of stalking the alien, so he likes it. Mm. So you look at motherfucker. Oh yeah, no, he likes it. He's into that shit. He's he's already he's already wearing full. What 
use it. In my other suit. <laughs> rubber suit. He's wearing rubber suit. Leather face. Rubber face. Oh fuck, man. Yeah, so we got betrayed. This whole medical st why I don't know why the medical station is built in a in a way that it can be launched into space. Oh no, there's sick people in there. Get rid of it, get rid of it. <laughs> so, oh. Oh, you're not gonna pay your medical bills. <laughs> <laughs> I fought on Neptune, motherfucker. <laughs> I fought on Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so now we're drifting into space with the alien. <laughs> Hashtag yay. This is mission 11 out of 18. So I'll just... Do the math. I'll let you do the math and figure out what the rest of the LP is going to be like. Having a tea pie with the alien. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, right. Remember when I got caught by that android on the ground right there? Yeah. I did that on purpose. Oh, why is that? Because when he catches you, he'll grab you, and then you can incapacitate him just by hitting him. Not incapacitate, that means pa make him pass out. You can kill him by hitting him with your wrench. Yeah. And you want to kill him before the alien is scripted to show up. Because if you try to go over to that door and press the button to get the airlock to open, uh, he'll grab you then. And that's when the alien will come and get you. Will come get you! Is, is that a auto kill then? Like is it like can no. you can you can you get rid of him and escape the alien before he gets you? You can, but you know it involves risk, mm. and I didn't want to risk it. I'm not a fan of that game. I always prefer battleships. Battleship. Boggle. Yeah, it's open. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah. Good job. <laughs> Did she jump in there? What the fuck was that? She tripped. Okay. It's all trapped by himself. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna Moon GTFO. The Moon the alien. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough time to put a suit on. That was a terrible smash cut. Smash that motherfucking cut. Oh, she, she didn't do... That's a dash you, you're dumb, Ripley. So she knew if she was gonna remain on the space station that she'd be killed. Or sorry, on the, I guess on, the, so. on, the, on, the on the medical thing. Well, yeah, but again, like if she don't grab on. Uh... No, I figured this this is uh, just for the people at home. This is a a scripted cutscene, correct? Yes. Yeah. You know, you don't you don't interact with any of this. <laughs> It, it looks like she's wearing the power glove. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it does. It's so bad. Also, good sound design because this is all you would be able to hear from inside a spacesuit. Mm hmm. Because there's no sound in space, see? 